Thank you. Thank you. Rachel, as a conservative, is it acceptable for the president to pull security clearances simply because of criticism when, by all accounts, John Brannon did nothing to compromise national security? Well, first of all, a security clearance is not a right, it's a privilege. Uh, and I think in the case of John Brennan, he should have lost his clearance long ago when he got busted spying on Congress, lied about it, and then only fessed up when it was uncovered. This is a man who uh, has taken inappropriate actions. Uh, I think, you know, he, there's a lot of questions about where he gets his information and how he monetizes his current access to information. And I think the president is right to review it. Again, it's not a right, um, it's a privilege. And all of us, uh, when we go on TV and we say things, when when we don't know where the source is, we should have that looked at. But that's the thing. A lot of this, not a lot would have been made of this if John Brennan's security clearance had been taken long ago. But now President Trump is saying uh, himself that it is partly because of John Brennan's criticism and involvement with the Russia probe. You know, I yeah, think... He's going even farther. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, I mean, look, he's going even farther than saying, I think something that makes sense to us, given the way that Trump has acted through his entire presidency, is the fact that because Brennan has been an outspoken critic, that he would, he would revoke it. Everything always comes back to Trump and his ego. But what's actually even more unbelievable, which it turns out came actually from Trump's mouth to the Wall Street Journal, was that he was revoking his clearance because he was involved with the Russia investigation. That seems like something out of a Hollywood plot line. And in fact, the White House talking points were the former, right? That he had been outspoken of the president, and so that's why his security clearance was revoked. That seems unreasonable, but more in line with what Trump has done so far. The fact that Trump himself said it was because he was involved with the Russia investigation seems insane. And the fact that more Republicans aren't standing up to say this is actually insane. Look, there is a bar bipartisan group, many Republicans from the security community, Bob Corker from Senate, all saying this is like a banana republic. It's unbelievable. But the fact that more aren't actually saying this is a huge abuse of power is why Republicans are going to lose across the board in November. People see them as just being like a sign-off to the president's ridiculous abuse of power. Let's listen to John Brennan some more. I want to get your both of your reactions to this. This is John Brennan on why he says the president's behavior is Nothing short of treasonous. I think, uh, you know, John uh, is, is sort of like a freight train, and uh, he's going to say what's on his mind. John and, and his rhetoric have become, uh, I think, uh, an issue in and of itself. All right, that was actually James Clapper, but he is pointing out some serious issues that are being brought up. Emily, is the president being treasonous in dealing with Russia? Look, I think that still has yet to be determined, and I think a lot will come out with, with the Mueller investigation. But to Brennan's point, the fact that everything that we see in plain sight that's being reported in the public looks like collusion. And I think that it does say a lot if the former director of the CIA, if so many of those from the top in, of national security and intelligence are saying, this is the fact pattern of the Russians, this is how they meddle in elections, and this is exactly what's happened with Trump and his campaign, I think that should carry a lot of weight for us. Rachel, do you agree? No, I don't. Look, if John Brennan has access to classified information about what's going on with Russia, he should not be publicly speculating about it. State secrets are not John Brennan's property. He is not allowed to make money off of them. So if he has access to this, he shouldn't be discussing it. And I think claims of treason, not against a citizen, not against any other person, but against the president of the United States, calls into question the integrity of the entire intelligence community. If he knows something that's classified, he should not be publicly speculating about it. I think he has, the president has every right to review the clearance of someone who goes on TV and accuses him of, of, of a, a treason which is punishable by death. I mean, this guy is unhinged. Uh, the main concern well, is going The forward. president loves people to go on TV. The president loves people to go on TV. So I think it's a little questionable that he would start going into that. But look, if, if we're going to take this seriously, that the president actually cares about about people who have security clearances, and the, among the list of people that he was going after were just people from the Obama administration, shockingly. Can we talk about Michael Flynn from his own administration, who has admitted that he lied to the FBI? Can we talk about, can we talk about, um, you know, Jared, his son-in-law, who seems to have access to everything, regardless of the fact that he John continuously Brennan lied. And, and James Clapper, both two very high-level administration officials in the Obama administration, both of them lied to Congress. James Clapper, well under oath.
and Obama stood by both of them? I mean, the double standard here is outrageous. But Flynn seems fine. Flynn seems fine. Lied to the Flynn FBI. Flynn doesn't work for the government. Flynn position. doesn't have a security clearance anymore. Flynn is not monitoring security clearance. Neither does Brandon Clapper. Clearance. Uh, well, he just did two days ago. Uh, they were, and and you're, everyone's freaking out because it got taken away. Michael Flynn doesn't have access to that, and he is going through the court system. And yet, two people who lied to Congress, spied on Congress, and lied under oath are somehow perfectly fine uh, to keep monetizing their clearance and making money off it. This makes no sense. Okay, love it. Fiery debate. Two smart ladies, Rachel Bavard and Emily Tish Sussman. Thank you both. And the real question, of course, is whose security clearance is going to be revoked next and how damaging that could be. And the president right now throwing a celebration for ICE agents while hundreds of migrant parents still don't know where their children are. What's next for those families and why so many of them still haven't been reunited? You'll want to know, so stick around. It's the summer of Jeep. Time to get out there in the redesigned Jeep Cherokee. 